Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 16 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And I forgot to mention something in the last episode, and that's, um, you may have noticed that last episode was widescreen, whereas, like, hardly any of my videos before this have been widescreen. And that was because I didn't really like the degraded quality that you get when you stretch the video to widescreen, because, oh my god, no, my, ah, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? My cat just, like, stole my microphone. Oh, my God. And I'm, like, leaning at a really awkward position. Okay, there we go. Jeez. She's sitting at the mouse of the computer right now. Anyways, I don't think I actually have any of these furnitures here. Oh, so I'm just going to pass on it for... Actually, I do. I think I just saw one. Yeah, I have the torch here. Cool. All right. Uh, I probably have some more of this stuff, don't I? Oh, I can't really tell. Because I have to, like, memorize, like, what it is. Anyways, yeah, so, like, uh, the last video was widescreen, and I've been changing all of my previous videos to widescreen, too. I'm on, in the process of doing that. It'll probably be t be done by the time you see this video. Hopefully, anyways. Otherwise, I'm just lazy. And, um... Oh, can, does this fit? Yes, it does. Okay. And it looks like I might have this thing, too. I'm not sure. It looks like a totem pole or something. Oh, actually, I don't think I do have that. Oh, well. Alright, oh my god, my battery's running low. Look at that. Okay, so, um... Jeez, I've been so off top. I've just been switching topics all crazy, crazily lately. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to get into that. Alright, so yes, as I was trying to say, I'm changing all my videos to widescreen because, I don't know, people seem to like widescreen better. It just seems like... I don't know, they just don't like the black bars on the side. It gives them a sense of incompleteness or something. And I don't mind those, but just for the sake of you guys, I guess I can just change them to widescreen. It's no big deal. I can live with the degraded quality a little bit. It's not that degraded anyways. So, yeah, there's that. Anyways, let's just go ahead and tackle Squashini here. Squashini. Yeah, this is actually going to be a really fun boss fight. I remember this one. Loved this one so much for the first time that I did this. I was about to say as a kid, but I didn't have this game as a kid now, did I? <laughs> There's like an audience in the foreground there. Whoa! Alright, so we got a little bit of a roulette thing here. Uh-oh. That doesn't look very good. It's an ugly face. Oh no, we won an ugly man! Okay. And we gotta fight this guy now. Now, I don't remember exactly how to fight this guy. Looks like we're playing Russian roulette here. Kind of like King Boo in Super Mario Sunshine. You gotta get the right thing on his roulette, I'm guessing. And for now, I'm gonna just have to avoid this. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. Actually, no, I don't, because that just hit me. I, I'm, I'm guessing that. No! Okay, crap. Well, how am I supposed to know which hat he's in? Because I remember you have to, like, get the right hat. Ah, crap. I mean, you stop pulling at my microphone. Jeez. Jeez, this, this episode is going to sound so bad because she's been, she's been pulling out my microphone for the whole time. Crap. Okay. Oh, wait, can I? Sweet! Okay. So, ow. Thanks for that. Hey, get him. Get him. Seriously, thank you. So, that hurt him. I don't know if that's the only way to hurt him. It looks like it could have probably hurt him if I got the right hat, if I had chosen the right one. Yeah, I might have to move my microphone again because I don't know how much she moved it. Oh, that should be good, I think. Alright, what did he get? He got a spiral th Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, crap! Oh, my God! No! What? What is going on? <laughs> just get, get off of this thing! Uh, for anyone wondering how I did that, I just had to, like, rock the controller back and forth. Oh, wait. Oh, crap! Holy crap, I can hit this. Okay, I'm not going to take any chances with that bomb. That can cover! I should go BOOM! Well, that was a very unsatisfactory boom. Oh, man. I've hardly been paying attention to what this boss fight actually is, because my whole cat and my leg is itchy and everything. Uh oh a death flag? What is happening? This boss fight is just really fun. I think that's what it is. There's something, there's something so fun about it. All right, I guess I have to stay over here. You just can't hit me with that. Actually, I probably could have grabbed one of those bombs and hit him with it, but... No sense worrying about that now. Or he's gonna go with the hat again. It's a nice little flowery hat there. Alright, let's see. 
Is there any way to tell which one he's in? Oh crap! Oh my god! Crap! I forgot that would come down on top of me like that. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh wait! Ah, crap! Oh no! I thought I could grab that thing, but apparently not. Alright, let's see. We get the cards this time. That's the only one that I've actually hit him with at this point, I think. I kind of hit him when he like, had me tied to the giant bomb, but I didn't actually hit him. I just got bees from him. Alright, here we go. Oh, crap. Jeez. No, no, what? What? Gee, man. This is not going well. This is not going well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do I suck? I'm just off my game today or something. Boom, there we go. Get some more of these beads. Uh, do I have enough for... Yes, I have enough for the patch, but can I maintain that level of beads? That's the tricky part now. You know, it's hard to get on... It's hard to get on... What am I trying to say? It's easy to get on top. It's hard to stay on top. It's like the opposite of YouTube. Yeah, we gotta do this again. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but to get free of this thing, you just have to rock the control pad back and forth. That's what I do anyways, there might be a different way of doing it. Alright, sweet. Got uh, quite a lot of beads there, oh my god. Get out of the way of the bomb. Nice! Alright, he should be dead pretty soon, I think. Uh, I haven't really hit him much, I've hit him twice and all. Alright, let's see if I can actually grab one of these bombs this time and try to hit him with it. Because that's what I think I have to do when he does this. And I feel, it seems like I'm doing this blind, even though I'm not. I've done this boss fight once before, anyways. Alright, grab that, and toss it up. Yes! Okay, so you can hit him there. Oh, that was it? Sweet. News close to the dead, and all the Waddle Dees are in the foreground cheering now. Boom! Oh, I love it, man. I totally love it. That low battery thing flashing in the corner there, doesn't that doesn't make it very pretty. At least it's not really intrusive like the one in Super Mario Galaxy is when it comes up. You got the cookie patch. Delicious. Oh yeah, we got this cutscene again. I feel tempted to skip this cutscene every time it comes up, but I might as well just show it. Because it is part of the thing. I can talk over it though, because we've heard this like four times before now. Oh yeah. Lately, I've actually been going back and watching some of my older videos. I know this is totally a random topic, but I've been watching some of my older videos, and the commentary back then seemed so much more natural. I don't know what it was. It was a lot more awkward and nervous, too. Oh, we got a new cutscene here, too. came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to himself, but failed. He dove right in and started gobbling up the Oh, cake. Kirby. I declare a cake-eating duel. A cake-eating duel. <laughs> Prince Fluff oh, my God. Cake as well. What is this, the a Pokemon battle? And eight and eight, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Whoa! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed with them inside. <laughs> oh, I can't eat another bite. Prince Fluff moaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then, Kirby appeared with a huge... <laughs> what the heck? Man, this is so random. Kirby won the contest, and a looming tummy ache as well. A looming tummy ache. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is so funny sometimes. Oh jeez, what time am I up to? I'm up to 22 minutes on my recording. Which means I think I have about 6 minutes left in this video. Did it really take me that long to do that boss? That's pitiful. Waterland to the next. Alright, so we got the cookie patch. Let's see what this does. Whoa, okay. Oh, ice cream. I love ice cream on top of a cake. That's so good. Ice cream and cookies and stuff. And we unlock Coco Station. Oh, that sounds like it's going to be a train level. And I don't really like the train very much. But we're going to have to do that eventually. Anyways, yeah, like I was trying to say before, like I randomly brought up at the end of that boss battle. Um... I have been going back and watching some of my older videos like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and stuff like that. And something about the commentary back then, it was just so much more natural and down to earth. I think it was partially because like I didn't have as much confidence as I do now. Because now with like upwards of 2,000 subscribers and all the nice comments that you guys leave me, it's just like, 
it makes me feel a lot more confident with myself and a lot more I have a lot more self-esteem because before I started let's playing I was actually like just really like a shut-in a major shut-in and even in my real life after let's playing I've started to kind of come out of my shell oh, so yeah I guess it was just a matter of finding something that I some place where I belonged and this is it just feels right at home to me okay don't drop carry it's, what happened there did she get like hit or something she was floating in the air for a second all right yeah she did get hit there I hope that doesn't lose me time when that happens all right yeah so I don't know it seems like my commentary lately has just been kind of like uh it's gonna, be, it's gonna be kind of boring or something or kind of just I don't want to say obnoxious because I don't feel like I'm I'm getting obnoxious but at the same time it's just I don't know something about it is just different like oh why did I just throw into the lava there I don't know all right oh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get this on the first try just like I haven't gotten any of the others on the first try oh crap okay alrighty here let's just put this down yeah no don't pick it up don't pick her up again yeah, that's something I completely forgot you could do, actually, until, like, literally just now. Is that you can actually put her down instead of having to throw her. That's actually much easier to do. Alright, am I almost there? Please let me be almost there. Oh, no, don't do that! What are you doing, you dumbass? Wait, time's up! Oh my god. Jeez, I thought I had, like, ten seconds left. Oh, but when she gets hurt, that must reduce the timer on the clock like I thought it did. Okay. So that's why I ran out of time. Well, color me retarded. Alright, let's try this again here. Back to the start with me. Alright, careful. No, crap. I almost got hit by that thing. Alrighty. You just gotta be really careful around these, like, bird things. These bird, insect, whatevers. Alright, yeah, that hit me. I'm fine with that. As long as it doesn't hit carry. Time is of the essence here, not beads. Oh crap, that was really dumb. Oh, now she's in the lo How am I supposed to... Can I just... Okay, okay. She comes back up into the land. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Alright, let's see here. Oh crap, no. No, come here. Seriously. These freaking ball bombs. These weird little pale ba bombs. Alright, yeah, now that I know how to, like, put her down, it's a lot easier. Oh, no! Dude! A freaking volcano monster there. Oh, uh, what's that volcano monster called in, like, a uh, Lava 3? Because it kind of reminds me of that. Is it Mrs. Lava? I think there's something else that's, like, more volcano -y. I don't know if anyone remembers the name of that thing, just feel free to hit me up. I'll probably have to end up looking it, looking it up after this recording session. Because it's going to bug me if I don't. Alright, I'm not going to make this. Are I? Are I? <laughs> Seems like I'm not. Holy crap, why do I suck at this? Well, this was rated as one of the more difficult ones. Wow. Can't believe you didn't die there, Carrie. Oh, she's... The freaking throne's right there, too. Man, she's in the throne. Come on. Alright, let's give this one more crack. One more crack attack. Crack attack a bang a ling a bullets in your ling a ling. Alright, we got it this time. We're gonna do it. Here we go. Let's do it. Come on. I was about to like clap my hands and rub them together as though I was about to like get ready for something. Oh, but I ended up not because I had to actually concentrate on keeping my hands on the controller here. Alright, so I'm doing okay so far. But wait, what are you doing? Okay. No, no, crap. Get that thing away. Okay. It blew up in my hands. I had a suicide bomb there, but it protected Carrie, so that's fine. Jeez. How often can you say that you would hold a bomb to save, like, a girl or something? Because I assume Carrie is a girl. Ah, oh, I know there's one girl that I would hold a bomb for. That's probably saying too much. You can look up my channel description if you want to know more about that. I know I'm gonna have to end up talking about that at some point in like one of, one of my videos. It's it's inevitable that I'm going to because I'm just gonna run out of commentary eventually, and it'll just 
start coming out. Coming out like crazy. But for now, that Sydney matter will have to just wait. Just have to wait on it. And that's her name, by the way, is Sydney. Those of you who've been to my streams a long time ago will probably know that. I don't know if you remember that. But I know I talked about it. Okay, I'm up to 28 minutes here. So I think it's about time that I end it off. And I have another carry stage to go to. Oh my god. Oh, these last two videos are going to have been so boring, even in the commentary. Like, it's just... <laughs> It's been so, like, relaxing, soothing, boring-ass commentary. Though I suppose, like, me being relaxed and soothed doesn't equal, um, boring commentary, but whatever. Anyways, uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argo Matrix signing out. Thank you and goodbye. Good night, I mean, not goodbye.